If you've been watching my videos, you know that I put polls on my community tab. I do Black Series action figure unboxings. Now if you stick around, I will show you which one won the poll and also which one I'm going to unbox, which are usually one and the same. But I have a special extra surprise for everybody who's watching. So stick around and see what that special surprise is. Okay, so for my last poll, I had three different action figures. I had Ayala Sakura, which one of my friends really wanted to win. He was like really adamant. So let's see, did she win? That's one. Oh, and it says on the back, a cunning warrior and Jedi Knight during the rise of the Clone Wars. Ayala fought on many battlefields a master of emotional detachment necessary in the Jedi Order. She tried to pass on what she learned. And that's in Spanish, German, French, which I won't read for you. The second one is my favorite. It's a stormtrooper from the original Star Wars before it became A New Hope. And it says, Stormtroopers board the rebel blockade runner Tanev 4 and send word to Darth Vader that they have captured Princess Leia. Dun dun dun! One of the most enigmatic scenes in movie history when Darth Vader walks on board Tanev 4. I'm sure all the old school players will agree with me and hopefully some of the younger ones will agree with me too. And then the last but not least on the poll was Paplu from Return of the Jedi, one of the Ewoks. And I think he was played by Kenny Baker, who was supposed to play Wicket, but he got food poisoning. So they brought up a young 13 year old boy. And let me know if you know who that young boy was because he became pretty popular after that. And I'll let you know at the end of the show who that young 13 year old boy was. All right, let me look at the polls. So it was a low poll rate, but we had 18 votes. And out of the 18 votes, we had 6% for this guy right here, Pablo. For Ayala Sakura, who my friend really wanted, we had 44%. And coming in at 50% is the Stormtrooper. So the Stormtrooper wins. Yay! So I will go ahead and pause here and we will open up this box. Okay, so as you can see, I have my Stormtrooper in the Black Series box. I have to say the Black Series does do a great job of packaging their stuff. They uh, package it really well and they also keep the guns and the action figures very secure to where they don't move around in the box and get accidentally destroyed or broken. So let me open this up. Pull this out. Okay, usually they have tape across this, but they don't have tape this time, which I don't see a problem because it's kind of like poked inside the plastic to where it's not gonna move. There's our big weapon. And there's their gun. And this was actually a modified handgun that Roger Christian created when he made when he was working on Star Wars and he talks about that in one of my videos which I will probably put up uh, at the end of this video so oh that's cool here's the stormtrooper he has a gun holster right there so I guess that goes in here Sweet, that's awesome. 
and he has this rifle. Okay, here's another bit of trivia. Do you know what this thing is? This little piece of equipment on the back of the stormtrooper's uniform. I thought it was just part of their uniform, but it is actually, it actually does something. Now let me know if you know what it is down below in the comments. If not, I'll tell you at the end of this video. All right, I'm gonna pause this and get him set up in his pose. As you can see, I have him set up in a pose where he's shooting down the hall. Blast him! And I have him in a, on a platform. And I would suggest to anybody who gets these action figures and you're going to show them to put, find some kind of platform or something, make sure when you buy that it says it's for the Black Series or whatever style of action figure you're using. Make sure it's for that, and even then, sometimes they don't really work the best. This isn't, these aren't the best. I mean, I'm able to finally finagle them in, but it takes a long time. A lot of the time, the, these are too big. The little uh, spikes that stick out are too big, and it takes me forever to squeeze them into their feet. I finally got this one. I got this in the pose because he could hold this. It was easy to get his hand into the grip right here, but part right here where he's holding the barrel, his, his fingers were so tightly closed, you have to like overextend them in order to stretch them out. And I'm so afraid someday I'm gonna, it's gonna be brittle and it's, I'm gonna overextend it. It's gonna break off the fingers. So I was able to overextend them a little bit to where I could get get the barrel in there. So just be careful if you're trying to get him in a pose and you wanna use his left hand because his hand is really tight. So keep that in mind. What I will do now is I will put him with the other Empire people and we will see what he looks like. All right, here we go. I got all the bounty hunters and the evil people down here. I got the Empire. And last night I was able to get Darth Vader on one of the platforms. And there's the Stormtrooper who is going to attack. And then there's all of the Rebels, as I would say, the good guys. All right. So, out of all these uh, people that I have, let me know who your favorite is. I know who mine are. So let me know. I'd be really interested. And man, these are, it's getting kind of crowded in here. I'm gonna have to figure out something new. Maybe I'll try to do some shelving or something. So I said I had a surprise for you also. So are you ready for a surprise? I am going to be unboxing Ayala Sakura also. If I can get her squeezed into the cabinet because there are so many uh, people up there that are part of the rebel rebels and the Jedi. Let's unbox her real quick and see what it looks like. This is for you, JD. Here's Ayala. And she's in a black box too. So, and she's pretty well secured. So let's open her up. If I had tons of money and I had lots of storage space, I would buy one to show and then I'd keep one in the box. But my inner child comes out since I only, I don't have a lot of money. My inner child comes out and I have to unbox them. So I'm showing them and letting you enjoy it with me also. There it is. Like I said, they, they do some fantastic packaging. They put this plastic over it to keep her secure and safe. So let's pull her up. There's that. And let's get her blue lightsaber. For some reason I thought she had dual lightsabers, but I, I was wrong. I think. Okay, so she has a lightsaber. Not a lot of uh, stuff. She has a little 
belt flaps, little tassels in case she wants to join a rock band. Um, and her little headpiece. Alright, I will get her set up and be right back. As you can see, I have her set up. She's in a pose with her lightsaber. And one of the cool things I did notice is that on the side, I didn't see this at first, there's a little hole that she can attach her lightsaber to. And the actual lightsaber will come loose. Will shoot. Ah, she died. Execute order 66. So you can do that. Put it back on. Snaps in. And one of the things is with this these hands. These were a little, they were very, very loose hands, but they were still clenched tight. <clears throat> so when I was trying to get it on to the lightsaber handle, I had to overextend. And I, and like in the last one, I just unboxed the Stormtrooper, I was a, Afraid her hands were gonna her fingers gonna pop off you know break off so you have to be careful of that if you're gonna have her in a pose with the lightsaber or anything in her hands but that's a yellow Sakura in her pose and it also looks like she's got Doc Martens on which are pretty cool maybe they're Jedi Martens see maybe Doc Martens needs to make uh, shoes for the Jedi but it was kind of tough putting her in the on the platform not as tough as the stormtrooper was well, let me go put her in the cabinet and we will see what she looks like I'm gonna do this really fast because we just saw that with the stormtrooper there he is and then there is a yellow Sakura and the rebels are getting really 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 tight in this cabinet so I will have to figure something out really soon. There they are. I hope you liked this prize. I know JD did. And also, I put the, uh, a yellow Sakura in a pose where her lightsaber was over her head. And one of my good friends, Scott, had, had requested me to do that a long time ago with Darth Vader, but I couldn't because he had a cape and shoulder pads on, which didn't allow for his arms to move up. So I did it with her. Hopefully he's, he's satisfied with that. With my question about Paplu, did you get it? Who was the 13 year old boy that had to take over for Kenny Baker when Kenny Baker got food poisoning? So Kenny Baker played Paplu and this 13 year old boy played Wicket. Do you know who it was? It was Warwick Davis who went on to do Willow and other Star Wars movies and he did Leprechaun and other things. I thought that was a neat bit of little trivia right there that he started off because Kenny Baker got, got food poisoning. I mean, I'm sure he, he was thankful for Kenny Baker getting food poisoning, but he probably didn't want him to suffer. I, I wouldn't want Kenny Baker to suffer. I thought he looked, he was seemed like a cool guy. On to trivia number two. The Stormtrooper, what is this? Did you figure it out? This was a thermonuclear detonator. It was standard issue with the Stormtroopers from the Empire. So they could use it and they could blow things up. Kind of like uh, what Princess Leia had in Return of the Jedi with her little handheld thermonuclear detonator every single stormtrooper had one so just think about that if you're enjoying the content give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe I uh, really appreciate it the, the channel would appreciate it and give me a comment below let me know how I'm doing well that's it for this video but come back for more Star Wars and sci-fi content more black series unboxings 
when I get some more Black Series action figures. Come back for live streams and live movie watches. Y'all stay warm and safe. Enjoy your weekend. And remember, the Force will be with you always. Thank you so much for watching.